Uh, so I'm just going to follow on from yesterday's lesson with some tips on how to publish your, your writing. Uh, today you might get an opportunity to do that. So I've got my narrative here about the penalty kick, about my football match, and I've typed up my whole story on the Google document, as you can see here. So basically what I want to do is transfer it into a book. So as you know, when we're in our grade 2 uh, library, okay, so this is the grade 2 writing library here that you're a part of, you've created your books already, so this is my book. So I want to go in and edit my book. Remember some of the things that we did where we created a cover? This is your book cover, so nice and simple, just with the title of the book on the front. You can add your pages by clicking through to your final page. So I've created a few pages already. When you get to the last page, you'll see this plus sign here, just over here. Click on plus to add a new page. Now you'll notice that each time I make a new page, it's creating the same template as last time. Let me just look at all my pages here. I've got a cover page. Okay, I've got a title page, and then I've got, following that, a picture page. So today I'm just going to show you how to transfer your text into the uh, Book Creator book and set it out uh, in, a, in probably the, the most organized way. All right, so I'm up to here now. Um, so what I might just do is show you how to put the next page in. So I'm up to this part here. I'll go back to my story and just find out where I was. So my last line was the screams of the crowd. So let's just go down to that bit, this part here. Okay, so I just finished here, screams of the crowd. So when I put a new section in, I'm not going to put in too much at the one time. So when we read a picture book, we normally see a little bit of text and then a picture. So I'm going to do the same thing, just a little paragraph. So I'm going to copy that, Command-C. And then I'm going to put it into a new page. So I'm going to go next page. Okay, I've already added my page. So I've, uh, some people were saying today, why can't I paste um, the text in when I go Command V? Because you have to add a text box first. And then you can Command V and paste it in. Okay, you'll notice that my text is really small on this page. So I go back to the previous one and check the text on all of my pages. Is 39 size so you'll have to play around with the text to see what's a good size for you okay but for me I've decided that I want to fill the page up with a good size text that everybody can read quite easily and I'm going for 39 so I'll just take that up a little bit there we go 39 the next thing I want to do is make sure that it's centered and aligned on the page so you can see these lines there we go there's the center when you see the pink line all right and it's nicely in the middle of the page now all right, and then I just go back to my story, and I've done that, so I'm going to put the next bit in now. Sadly, the smile didn't last long, as almost immediately the ball took a sharp turn to the left and sailed right past the goalpost. Missing, uh, I'm going to fix that actually, missing its target by a long way. So I'll add the next part of my story in, Command-C. All right, going on to my next page now. Add my text box paste in the text, and done. Again, I'm going to make sure my text box is selected, go to the size, and make it the same as all the other pages, 39. Just fix my text box up so it fits and it doesn't go over the page, and then put it right in the middle, aligned. So you don't want it to go over here because you won't see the words. You don't want it to go over here because also you won't see the words when they go off the page, see? So you've got to make sure that it goes right in the centre of the page. And sometimes you just need to trim the text box a little bit so it fits in. So that looks pretty good. Alright, and I just keep going, chunk by chunk, a little bit of the story at a time, until I've finished all of the story right to the end. Command C, new page, text box, paste and done. Just fix up the size again. And that is all the text in my story that is now made its way into my book creator. If I go back now and look at all the pages, you can see that I've now got my title page, 
each of the little chunks of my story all the way to the end. And you can see they're all the same. They all have the same background, except for the pictures, which I'll show you on the next video. So today, your first goal might just be breaking up your story into little chunks. Okay, notice that I've got paragraphs. So each time there's a new event in my story, I've put a new paragraph. You can see there's a space between each of the events and the things that I've added to my story. All right, and that's all.